Chemicals and some personal care products we use every day could get more scrutiny. That's if a bill introduced with bipartisan support in the U.S. Senate becomes law. As Lauren Freeman shows us, it calls for the Food and Drug Administration to review five chemicals used in soap, lotion, shampoo, and cosmetics every year. Everything has a trade-off to it, whether it's healthy or unhealthy, it's levels. Baby sunscreen, facial cleanser, bubble bath, and kids' lip balm. Each contain ingredients that would first be on the FDA's radar if this legislation passes. Propyl paraben in two products. It's considered safe. They would say it has estrogenic activities. Chemist Dr. Rich Trundle says that means it mimics estrogen in the body, and it's been linked to certain forms of breast cancer. Dr. Trundle says the chemical in these products keeps bacteria and mold out. But they're in there to make these products last longer, and the formaldehyde that they're producing is at very, very low levels. Levels the FDA deemed safe, but the Biedelman family says they cause them much strife. So he used to be covered, his whole face here. Their son Harvey suffered from red itchy rashes from the time he was five months old until he turned two. If we had family get-togethers and you know as a baby everybody wants to hug him and hold him and same like he was saying about the scented washes and the just um, perfumes and lotions and detergent that everyone had on by the time we were done with our family get-togethers he was just red. Chantel says at one point they counted more than 50 different products they were using to help fight the rash but but in the end, those were part of the problem. And it's up, down, up, down, up, down. And it wasn't until we just wiped out all of the lotions that they finally found relief. They changed to products that are phthalate, sulfate, and paraben free. Within the first week, he's soft. Everything is kind of leveling out. He's not really scratching anymore. It's just, it's a world of difference. Dr. Trundle says a few people will have adverse side effects to those ingredients, but the general population will not. I think there are a lot of things that we don't know, which is why we really need a, um, a, a neutral regulator like the FDA who's able to systematically look at these different ingredients. Melanie Banesh of the Environmental Working Group believes we don't know if these products are safe the way we use them today. She points out the laws for the products have not changed since they were first created in 1938. Many Americans, and I think uh, myself included before I started working on this issue, um, assume that someone is already doing that. Assume that there's a government body like the, like the FDA um, that is actually looking at products before they go to the market. The Biedelman family says what they're doing now does work, and their entire family, especially their youngest daughter, Simone, is healthier because of it. The Environmental Working Group created a healthy living app. It allows you to scan the barcodes of your products to see the allergy, cancer, and developmental concerns. It also lists the ingredients in the product and whether more information is needed to deem it safe. Lauren Freeman, KPRC, Channel 2 News.